Hi, welcome to my channel and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I bring a topic about an interview with Miana Green Mora and co discussing shipping in Spain. What is the current state of shipping industry in your country? It is undeniable that Spain has privileged geographical position in the world, being located at the gates of the Mediterranean Sea with access to the Atlantic Sea, the Gulf of Biscay, having a four-tire port of the Gibraltar Straits, and one of the last ports on the ways to the Americas or Canary Islands, has undoubtedly benefited Spain in terms of both the shipping trade and fishing market. Spain's strategic location, along with other relevant reasons, Spain has one of the longest sea coasts in the world, nearly 800 km according to the World Resources Institute, have promoted an ancient marine tradition and a great interest for Spain arts in the sea and the benefits that can be obtained from it. According to the National Statistic Institute or IENE, -E, on June 2022, the Spanish population reached approximately 47.5 million and GDP in 2021 came to US 1,000 and 4,100 and more. In reference to the World Bank representing an increase of approximately 1.50% of the world economy since 2019. Of the above GDP figure, the INE indicates that 6.7 and 8 million euro is contributed by transport sector on 2022. The fleet controlled by Spanish ship owners comprises 218 vessels totaling 5 million and 44 and 1994 GD representing the highest figure in the past 30 years. According to Puerto del Estado, in the fi first five months of 2022, port traffic exceeded 236 million and 596 and 502 tons equivalent to an increase of plus 7.35% compared to 2021 data. However, it represents a significant decrease in comparison with historical maximum reached in 2019. As far as container trade in concern, White's list on 100 ports 2019 which ranks part according to annual container throughput figures includes three Spanish ports in the world's top 100, namely Valencia number 29, Algeciras number 33, and Barcelona number 48. These three ports are also included in the top 15 container ports of Europe. Quite significantly, Spain is the gateway to Southern and Western Europe, particularly the port of Algeciras, which is a main trash transshipment hub of the Mediterranean and handled 5 million and 120 20-foot equivalent or TEU in 2019. The ports of Valencia and Barcelona combine considerable transshipment flows with cargo bound for the Spanish mainland, handling 5,000, 5,000,000 and 4,400 and TEU and 3,324,000 TEU respectively in 2019, with an investment of over 62 euro million in the port of Valencia, Costco shipping port Spain aims to increase the capacity of CSP Iberian Valencia terminal by 30% to 5 million TEU by 2022. On 17 January 2022, of its container ships, CSCL Pacific Ocean with capacity of 19,000 TEU was recognized as the largest container ship of the shipping company that has operated on the Valencian dock. Another key sector of the shipping trade in Spain is the transport of passengers, 
which is directly affected by tourism and the Peninsula Islands transport. According to the UN World Tourism Organizations, Spain was the most visited country in 2019 with 83.7 million tourist arrival and 79.7 billion dollars spent from tourism. In 2021, transport of passenger by sea reached 159. I mean, 59,000 passenger in the port of Santa Cruz de Tenerife as the maximum and annual number of sea passengers at Spanish ports, according to Statista. Spain as a member of the EU received significant aid from the community in 2019. For instance, 12 Spanish port authorities distributed 68.2 euro for the EU funds to improve efficiency and competitiveness in ports while the EU cohesion policy program in Spain has allocated 10 euro billion for smart growth. 8.5 billion euro for sustainable growth and sustainable transport for 11 billion euro for inclusive growth. COVID-19 note, given the outbreak of COVID-19 at the beginning of 2020 and Spain declaring a state of emergency in mid-March, lasting for more than two months. It is undeniable that the shipping industry has been negatively affected not only in Spain, but all over the world, even though the extent of the pandemic impact cannot yet be fully ascertained. ascertained. Port statistics for Q1 or quarter 1 2020 and quarter 1 2019 can be compared to indicate the preliminary effects on the industry. During the first quarter of 2020, port traffic decreased to 174.8 million tons, a minus 6.18% difference from the same period in 2019. Accordingly, solid bulk fell by 17%, liquid bulk increased by 0.7%. General cargo faced an overall decrease of 6.4%, cargo in transit to third countries has fallen by 1.4%, row road traffic has decreased by 12.5%, cruise ship, shift, cruise ship traffic has seen dramatic fall of 53.4% during quarter 1, bearing in mind that it has been nil since March. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.